it was recorded that the day will come when a man will have 10 women, 20 women fighting over him. One man to 20 women. And now it seems like that day is fast approaching. Hmm? In Finland, women were protesting against men marrying only one wife when many women are single. In Finland, women protesting that men are marrying only one wife when many other women are single. And now they want men to start marrying at least more than one wife, if not two or three. They should have to read. You know, I cannot like believe that eh, polygamy is not a religion issue. Polygamy was we was already existing even before religion. Polygamy was in, in, in our tradition as Africa, in even in Europe, was already existing even before Islam. Islam limited it to four. People were going as far as marry 20. The Mongols married as far as 30. Solomon in the Bible, of course, I do not even want to mention it. You know how many. Many kings and queens married as many as they want. So, Christianity came and said, one man to one wife. One man to one wife. Then Islamic came and said, okay, you are allowed to marry up to four. Limited it. So when people come out and say, oh, Islamic allow people to marry more than one wife, why don't you check your history? Check your history before blaming Islam. Islam limited it to four. It was already in existence. Polygamy was already in existence. Check your history. As at today, self, when you go to Nigeria, the deep south, south, southeast, eh? Go and check. Igbo men are married more than one wife. It's not an Islamic issue. So that said, the white Finland, uh, uh, the women there need help. So you know what you guys will do at Finland, the government? Please, uh, give special visa to Nigerian men. We have a lot of Nigerian men here that feel that they are very, very underappreciated by women here. Because women here are all about money. So please, I want to make a case for Nigerian men. Finland government, open your border, special order to Nigerian men, not with the women who close your border to Nigerian women. Open a special visa, a uh, free visa, they are all very, very uh, easy visa application to Nigerian men and I bet you all your issues that concerns women protesting over lack of men will lie, will lie, huh? will lie in the next couple of weeks, couple of months, huh? that issue will be eradicated. We have readily, currently, one million Nigerian men that are willing to just travel to Finland to occupy, to solve your issues, to marry your women. Just give us, uh, give them a soft visa, mm, soft, easy visa. Nigerian men, not the women. Mm, that issue will be dealt with amicably, sharply, fast, fast, will be dealt with amicably. So that being said, Let's move past that. And I want to uh, narrate a story. Someone who recently, uh, there was this uh, write up from my Alex. He experienced a very, very terrifying incident in a plane. According to Alex, he said, I, I experienced a terrifying moment this morning while flying with Ibom Air to Enugu. The woman seated in front of me near the emergency exit, attempted to open the door 
mid-flight. We, we quickly intervened to prevent a potential disaster. When questioned, she responded with a smile, claiming she wanted to see if the door would open. Airlines should be careful on who they allow on their critical state. If not me be you guy, oh God, I go you slap her, reset that woman's smile. And please, I want to know, was that, was, was that woman free? Because she's liable to be arrested and sent to jail. And again, she should be banned never to ever board any flight again. If boy flight to ban ban her, every other flight should ban her. Because one day this woman will do it and she will succeed. And everybody will have to pay with their life. So that woman should be banned, not just only that. But, they, but they're going to just overlook the whole issue. They're just going to overlook the whole issue. You tear and slap. He had to reset. Sorry, it'd be like I said, a dream. Correct one. Make your head reset. Make your head reset. Ten million. Ten million. Ten million. Ten million. Five million bar by Dave, from David Doe to a female fan who was vibing. So David Doe was on stage or in Port Harcourt, you no know, performing, and he saw this particular girl. Like the girl was vibing to the song, you know, from the whole place. She was the one really, really vibing to the song. You know what? She so brought her up on stage, and of course, you heard him correctly. The power vested in him by the glory of God eh, vested in him. Providing money for him to be able to bless others. He's going to bless her with five million naira. And Lati immediately started counting the dollars. And that is about, uh, how many dollars be that? Five million naira. That is a like five thousand US dollars. And I pray me Lati give her like uh, 50 pieces. 50 pieces. If you collect a gold changer, there'll be five million dollars again. Oh, it's about six point something million dollars. <laughs> Hey God, oh. where person go get this guy luck? It be like say I go start to the attend concert. Oh. Ah, it be like say I go start to the attend the yeah, David Do oh, whiskey, but boy, David Do especially concert. Oh. This one, eh, you know they do me. I'll just come with book that first row. I go they shout, they all are like this. They dance, they show my fizzy to make sure say the David Do notice me and boy know he. Bah! You don't have one million bar, I will use our whole body. Understand? I use our whole body. I like when he said, with the power vested in me. You know, it's not by his power, it's by the lost power. I like when he said that. With the power vested in me, I, I will be able to give this girl five million uh, naira. With the power vested in me, that is five thousand US dollars. So now, much for this guy, I had a con on me. Ah, just you don't do anything, no. You just buy twenty thousand naira, fifty thousand naira ticket to go watch the video. Even say now, even guy buy for a mo. If now boyfriend buy you that ticket, eh, make sure say you go give that boyfriend at least five hundred k. Say, but baby, take this five hundred k, take and chill. You buy me ticket, go see the video. But many of all those girls no good one. Okay, let me ask this question: If you are a girl and your guy bought you a ticket. And you are the girl that David do give money to. Will you remember that your boyfriend at least honor him by giving him a million naira or 500k? So I'm going to say 500k to Mojo. I will just give her like 100k or buy him, bossa. Cut!
If that guy buy you that ticket, girl, go meet that guy, give her 500k. Tell her, say, thank you, you buy me tickets. Yeah, but if not, no big guy, now you buy a ticket, ah, flex the money, how you want to flex the money. You know, mom, see, man, this economy hard, though. The other day, me and my friend, they talk about economy, I hard, do it. It's not easy again, no. My person will just can't. That kind of money give you. <sighs> nice one. Then, uh, let's talk about Bob Risky. Let's talk about Bob Risky. Hmm? Let's talk about Bob Risky. Bob Risky posted this video hmm? yesterday. The guy said, maybe they allow Bob Risky to use them to do this kind of video. Ah, I don't understand you now. I don't understand you now. But we already know that. Eh? The day may federal government will say, you know what? You don't calm down a little bit. That LGBTQ community can proceed in Nigeria. What lie here? You'd be so surprised. Even your brother close to you eh? is part of them. Even your teacher. Your lecturer, the, the, your pastor, the, even some of your imam, the, you'll be so surprised. Well, I, you'll be so surprised. Arrest my case, guys.